Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're back at the laundromat. I was on vacation, so my videos are a little later than normal. And on vacation, we had quite a few issues. Hopefully, they're not very bad. I had a number of texts about it being very dirty, so we went to check to see how bad it was, even though we have cleaners coming. Um, had a text about the change machine not working, had a text about the pop machine not working, had a text about another machine not working, so we had a lot of crazy issues. So I got there. Um, it's actually Sunday morning, and it was so dirty, and the cleaners had sent me pictures and all kinds of stuff of them cleaning literally the day before. And so it is crazy how fast it gets dirty, unless, of course, the cleaners sent me fake pictures, which I don't think they would do. But um, while we were there, we cleaned up, collected quarters, and um, were able to uh, see how much money we made, although our numbers are a little bit weird because it's not quite a week like we always do. So first off, I want to check the change machine, and it is out of quarters. That's why it wasn't working, at least the one side. One side still works, but um, I had people while I was gone refill the quarter machine once, but I didn't have them do it twice, and I really should have had them do it twice. I just completely spaced that, but quite a bit of cash in there. We already collected cash um, from last weekend, so we filled that up. And overall, we had $1,152 in cash from like the last five and a half, six days, and then about $800 in cash from last weekend. So um, quite a bit there, but it's tricky because normally we always do a week, and this time we did kind of like seven, well, nine days. <laughs> so all our graphs are going to be weird but it's still gonna be fun collecting quarters and showing you what we've got and what was in the machines. So after the first few machines, there is quite a bit of money in the boxes. So that's good to see. Again, it's hard to tell <laughs> exactly how much because of the weird dates we're doing. But last week was a little slower. I should say, you know, the last real week, the week before that was okay. We made some really good weeks before that. But just judging on what's in these boxes, I think we had a pretty good week and probably a good weekend. Um, when it's this dirty too, it usually means it's been very busy as well. And this machine has some issues. We'll, we'll show you at the end here how we fixed it, but it should not read just $1. Um, and it's also tricky too, because the weekends sometimes account for half of our revenue for the entire week. It's definitely much busier on the weekends than during the week. So having one full weekend and then a full week and then kind of like half a weekend um, it's going to be tricky to just figure out exactly what the numbers are but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we made this week add that all up count that all up we'll put that on our chart and it will hopefully be a record because we have extra time and then next week I'll collect quarters again on the normal time on Friday which will be a very short week and then I'll kind of average those charts together at that point, and we'll get a much better idea of how the numbers looked and what's going on. Oh, there's an error door on that one. I completely missed that. I'm doing a voiceover here because there are people in the laundromat. Um, I totally missed that. But these machines had quite a bit of money in them too. So that was good to see. It's definitely more fun to collect when there's a lot of coins in the coin boxes. But you know, you don't want to wait a super long time to do that either. And you definitely don't want them to get too full or else then they'll jam and the machines won't work, which is also very bad, not good. Um, while I was there, I also had um, one of these machines start acting really, really weird. The hips machines, we almost never have problems with them, but we had to fix a door here earlier. I think that was from user error and someone leaning on it or, or, or breaking, but we fixed that. But then someone was trying to use this machine. It's actually that one right there in the middle that's working now. But later on, they put their money in, push start, and it kept going into program mode, which it should not do without the top open. And um, I couldn't get it out of program mode. So I'll have to think about that or, or do some research and try and figure out what's going on there. But put an out of order sign on it. And um, again, it's a good sign when you're there and so many of the machines are being used. And we just have not had that before my vacation. So um, for whatever reason, it was just a slow time a couple weeks ago, and now things seem to have picked up again. 
I was also a little worried because I was doing some research and like, hey, what season is busiest for laundromats? And um, a lot of people said it really slows down in the summers. And so we're getting into the summer now and we just had some record weeks, some really good weeks. Our sales kept trending up. I was like, oh, that'd be a, you know, a little frustrating if as we get into you know improving the laundry and making it better, then our sales decline because of season, seasonal issues. But it was really good to see this much money in there, even with a few extra days. Hopefully it wasn't a seasonal issue the last couple of weeks. It was something else, people getting out of school, vacations, who knows. But that was a really good box. That's by far the most we've ever had in those couple of machines. Um, usually there's way less in there. Now these are my big machines up front. These were emptied once already by the people helping me out. And those are the quarters already in that box from that. And we're gonna count these separate again. We've been doing that recently just to show you how much the front four machines make, because they make a lot more. And these are pretty full boxes. Again, a few extra days than we normally, um, that we normally have to fill them too. So it's tricky to see just how good they are. And that's a really, oh, that one was almost overflowing again. So now you see why I always empty these twice a week and uh, almost going a full week on that one just does not work well. And then here's our biggest one, the 60 pound machine. And that one, very full too. Again, that, that coin box is taller than the rest, so it's always hard to see in video how full it is, but I can tell by weight. So that's all the small washers on the left and my big washers on the right. And both buckets are pretty full. Uh, in the past, we've never filled up one of those buckets all the way, and I think they would have been filled up all the way had I used the same bucket. So there definitely should be a record amount of quarters in those washers. These are the dryers, which should also hopefully have a record amount too. Again, when you cheat, it's much easier to get records. <laughs> but again, we'll see at the end of next week what everything is together. Um, that wasn't much either. Uh, the lower dryers definitely get much less use than the upper dryers. That's for sure. These, uh, the top ones people love because they don't have to bend over. Although a few people have told me, Hey, they're short. They like the low ones, but for the most part, people like the higher ones and they all work right now, except for a couple on the end we'll show you. So that's good too. When you have all the washers being used, like we saw, I mean, not all of them were being used, but most of them, then most of the dryers end up being used at once too. So, uh, we do have a slight bottleneck with our dryers. I think we have 20 to 26 or 24 washers and 18 dryers. And ideally we would love to have more dryers for that amount of washers, but there's simply nowhere to put them. There's no way to expand. There's nowhere to put more dryers unless the DMV next door moves out and we took all of their space, which I don't think they're doing anytime soon, but it still has been working out pretty good. And you know, this is part of business too, where we did raise the price on our dryers a little bit. It's now seven minutes a quarter, which is still very affordable. We have not raised the price on our washers yet, which we might do at some point. Um, but if we do get super busy all the time and we get to a point where there's just not enough machines for everybody, that is a point where you can raise your prices a little bit. And that's one way to increase revenue. Uh, utilities are expensive. We are paying rent here. Water's expensive. You've got to fix machines constantly <laughs> we're always showing here so it's not just a free you know money maker and it takes some work too uh, while i was on vacation you know i had a number of calls and issues and luckily i have people who can help me out with that but if i didn't there's really no way i could take vacation and own a laundromat you'd have to have someone there to help um there's always issues always things happening and um it's just yeah that machine like i said is broken this one has no heat, but people still use it once in a while because there are a few people who like to use no heat. All right, now we are counting the big washers up front. We're gonna do those first. Then we will count the rest of the washers and then we'll count the dryers. And of course we've still got to check the pop machine, vending machine, soap machine and see how they did as well too. I put this on just two times speed, so it's a little quicker. My change machine always has problems when I first start using it, and then it starts to get warmed up and starts working better. But um, our record for total quarters over the history of the world in my laundromat here <laughs> is um, 
let me look at my chart. We had... There it is, 1952, sorry. 1,381 quarters from my washers, or dollars from the washers, which ends up being, getting out my calculator. Fifty-five twenty-four total quarters from all the washers. So, um, just the front washers, and again, kind of like nine days, we had 2404 from those. So, really, really good sign. Over $500 from just the front ones and um, we'll see how much is in these back ones so again the change machine starts working a little better as it gets warmed up still doesn't work as good as my other one I need to switch these out I've got another small laundromat that I'll visit tomorrow and uh, we'll see how it did as well and um, that one kind of got me started in the laundromat business even though it doesn't make a ton of money it's doing better and better now we've got the car wash running there so we'll see how that one did tomorrow um, but this is looking pretty good because uh, I have a pretty full bucket still. And I'm already close to 2,000 quarters here. And um, like I said, we already had 2,000 from the other bucket. So total, we've already got like 4,400 quarters here. And we've got a lot more to go. So we'll see how this all looks once everything's said and done. Like I said, it's easy to set records when you cheat. And <laughs> you take extra time. But um, for our vacation, we'll have a video on that too. We went to uh, 30A in Florida, in between Destin and Panama City. Awesome there. Yes, we saw sharks. We have some interesting videos. I posted some shorts of bait fish and sharks and different stuff going on there. But we were in the water. It was fun. Um, nobody got eaten by a shark. Beautiful weather. Beautiful water. So that was a nice vacation to take with my wife and three kids we all had a blast and like i said we stayed right on the beach and i always like to show videos of those places too so we'll have that up some point this week all right here we go 2034 quarters plus our other 2000 plus our 2400 definitely the most quarters we've ever collected from washers before again we cheated but we broke a record. <laughs> All right. Here's the dryer money. And we'll see how much that is. Our record for collecting dryer money, if I can get that up here, is uh, 471 times four. About 1884 in quarters is our record for dryers. So we'll see if we can break that. I, again, I think we should, no problem. Um, that one record we had was over $1,900 in a week. We brought in total from everything. And um, our break even for costs at the laundromat are right around 4000 a month in that range. Maybe a little more than that. Maybe 4500 So the more machines we use, and look at that, another record for the dryers too. So we'll show you those charts here at the end. Now, um, the pop machine. Someone texted and said, hey, I think your pop machine's broken. It's spewing quarters all over. I'm like, what is going on? Well, I got there, opened it up, and it's almost out of pop. I can't believe it. That's the least amount of pop I've ever seen in there, or soda, depending where you're from, or Coke, depending where you're from. But not much money in there. But I had, you know, the person helping me out come over, and they said there were quarters on the ground and all over, and they weren't sure what happened, but they picked them up, and um, we got it filled up as much as we could. I need to get some more Orange Crush and more Sprite. But... Um, yeah, it was kind of weird how there. I don't even know exactly what happened. I wasn't sure, but we'll count those up and see what's in the pop machine. But people were using that like crazy. The vending machine. I don't know what's going on there, but um, quite a few of the snacks were gone, and I just restocked that. So that's always a good sign. And um, some of those are very big and don't always work like they should. But if we get them set up right, they will. So restocked it, and then we check, of course, to see how much money is in here. Not a bad amount. Pretty heavy. Again, it's easy to set records when you spend extra days. <laughs> so we'll count that here in just a second, too. And our soap machine. Uh, a couple weeks ago, this was almost empty in a lot of spots. And the last week, it was not empty at all. But I filled these up a lot. So 
that's I don't think we're setting records with the soap machine, but there's a decent amount gone because I filled them up higher than I normally did before I left, just so we wouldn't run out of anything. And of course, we'll count this up too and see what it looks like on the charts as well. Um, let's see here. Here is the soap machine. We're going to do it first. And... Over 40. Not quite 50. Not bad. That's not a bad amount. So again, not a record. But um, soap machine is weird. Sometimes some people just use it like crazy. Sometimes it doesn't use it at all. Now this is the vending machine, which I felt like was quite a bit compared to normal. So we'll see how much there is here. That is definitely a record. Over 60. Um, yeah. So that's definitely the most we've had. But again, we're counting more days. Now we'll check the pop, which, like I said, was kind of collected in a different way by the person helping me out. And then I combined what was in the machine into this box. And then I know there are a few dimes and nickels there, too, that will spew out. And that's why I have my hand over there on the right to catch those. And let's see what we've got here. 151 and some change. That's pretty good, too, for the pop machine. That might be the most we've ever had, even counting the extra days we've had. So we'll see what all this adds up to in just a second. Now, here's that machine that was shown a dollar. And what happened is we've had some issues with this machine before. And I take this cover off and you can see some quarters in there, which isn't good. The little coin mechanism has a broken bracket and it gets loose and people can't get quarters in there. So I've rigged it before and it start, keeps working for a couple of months and then it kind of, if, if someone bangs in the machine or if it shakes too much, it shakes off. So. I rigged it this time with some tape to hopefully hold it in place, and it seems to be working, so we'll see how long that holds. But there's lots of different ways to fix stuff at the laundromat. <laughs> All right, here's our sales chart that I promised you from before. And starting in the very beginning, in December when we opened, I took this over in September. We added a bunch of machines, fixed a bunch of machines, painted, remodeled in the place, tried to make it much better. We've had lots of compliments from people who used to go to it before we had it and said it's so much nicer and we, we like it a lot better so that's always good to hear and it's even better to see people coming and spending more money there because we love for it to be successful business as well especially considering how much time i spend there but i really do like spending time there and being there and it's fun messing with quarters it's even fun fixing the machines when it's simple stuff and it's not like work although it does take time if I hated it and it wasn't fun, there's no way it'd be worth my time to do this. So uh, we, we've shown the liquor store before. It's doing really well lately. It takes almost no work for me. We have a full-time manager, so that's nice. It was fun too getting it started, but I wouldn't want to work in it as much as I do the laundromat. There's no quarters. I mean, there's a few quarters there, but <laughs> it's just not the, the same. All right. You can see we had that record week um, back in April. We had some really good weeks in May. And um, we had our awesomest, most great record week this last week because we cheated. But if you see how much more money there was coming in, I mean, that beat our old record by about $400. It's hard to say if that, you know, what we're going to have after the end of next week too. But it's a good sign. I think we definitely did better than last time we counted. It was dirtier because there are more people there. I think even proportion wise, there are more quarters in there than there would have been before. Um, so I think we definitely are doing better. I don't think it would have been a record. I don't think it would have been 1900 if we count on Friday instead of, you know, the start of Sunday, but who knows? Maybe. So I don't think it's a record, even though it shows a record, but I think it's a really good week. And then we'll see for sure on Friday, once we collect quarters then and average everything out, how good of a week it was and how good this next week is as well. Interestingly enough, I raised the price of my dryers and we had an increase in revenue from the dryers relative to the washers. That kind of dropped back down again. So um, the dryers weren't 
as much as I thought they would be. So very weird how that happens. But again, maybe that's summer. Maybe people aren't drying their clothes as much. Maybe they're drying them outside. Who knows? For the vending, we had a record week. We've never had that much in the vending machine before. I think our most before was 40 some. For the soap, that was okay. Not bad. And for the pop, we had $40, which is twice as much as we've ever had before. So for some reason, people love that machine <laughs> this week. And um, and we could see from all the, the pop being gone too. Um, so overall, I think it was a great week. Even with some of the issues we had, we got through them. We dealt them, dealt with them, and we survived. Um, we'll see what happens next week. Hopefully, you stick around to see that. And that will really tell us the full story of how much we're doing the last couple of weeks. And of course, like I said, we'll show the small laundromat what it's doing tomorrow too. See how the car wash is doing. Go visit it. And I had people checking it as well to make sure it was okay. And we'll have that video coming up here really, really soon. All right. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the delay. I do have to t take vacations once in a while and we'll keep having laundromat videos. Don't worry. I had a lot of people commenting and asking what's going on, where they're at. Um, I wanted to keep you in suspense. Here's at least one of them and um, we'll be back soon.